welcome to Model Kit Stuff and another First Impressions video and, and this time we are focusing on this 135 scale um, motorbike which is by IBG Models um, and is a BMW R12 uh, which comes with a sidecar and can be depicted in, in its civilian version as originally designed or its military version um, which they have tried to depict on this lovely piece of artwork where we've got sort of semi-military and, and civilian. Um, I think it looks really nice uh, in its little shiny black uh, paintwork. Um, so yeah, let's have a look um, at what we get on the box. So we've got the, the artwork on the front, we've got a Hitler Youth and we've got um, a civilian um, young lad who's looking at it with uh, a degree of envy. Um, thinking I can't wait to be able to be big enough to drive one of them, I'm fairly sure. Do you drive them or do you ride them? I don't know. Never had a motorbike. Um, on this side we've got um, a little warning that says 14 plus um, and then it has uh, what looks like a little bit of history um, or, or it's a health and safety, I think it's a health and safety warning um, in different languages. Then on the side we have the basic information, it's the same on both sides and then on this um, end we have a little bit of history. So the BMW R12 with, um, most, was the most produced German motorcycle in World War II. So there we go. There is nothing on the bottom of the box. So when we um, think about the quality of the box, what we've got is um, a box that's got a fairly thin, flimsy lid, but it's stapled at the corners, um, but that would easily be perforated in shipping, although it's got to me okay. Then we have quite a lot of air. Um, so the box is fair bit bigger and it could be that they just have a standard size box for whatever models they're doing. Um, I've never had an IBG uh, kit before so this is a new one for me. We have instructions and then we have a bag of plastic with some decals inside the bag. So let's take a look. We'll have a look at the instructions first. So, what we've got is a black and white A4 format stapled um, booklet. Um, and then we have the artwork here on the top and it says three in one. Uh, let me just understand that. Uh, it has a one carburetor version, a two carburetor version, uh, and then a version annexed by the Wehrmacht. So, okay. So th that's your three in one. Um, and it says, uh, it references the designers here and the researcher. Um, and then underneath that, we've got the sprue layout. So you can check you've got all your parts. As we can see, three sprues. Um, then we've got what looks like a key here. So it says, um, I've not seen a key quite like this. So we've got a black one in a grey triangle um, element assemble in provided step, a white one in a grey triangle element after assembly in um, adjacent step. Okay. Um, then we've got a black question mark in a grey triangle that says version to choose, so that's basically an option. Um, a black one in an upside down tri grey triangle is decal, and a black A in a triangle is, a, is paint. And I guess that A could be any of these letters depending on the colour. So it gives us the colours here, um, but it doesn't actually tell you what the name of the colour is. So it just gives you the reference colour for uh, Guns Mr. Colour, Model Master Acrylics, Humbrol and um, Vallejo. Um, so 
0.861 so it's they're not giving you an air reference they're making sure that you realize it's not the um, model air color okay that makes sense when you think about it um, so you've got to work out what these colors are um, I can't see a 33 so I can't say and that one's definitely black <laughs> um, so I think 85 is gloss black or satin black so be for black anyway uh, then we've got the um, address of the company and contact details should you need to. Then step one, and um, what we've got is a CAD drawing style uh, pictures. So solid pictures, um, all in black and white. Um, so... Yeah, they don't look too bad at all actually it gives you an idea of what the part should look like and so on and so forth and then they they're using the system of long arrows to show you where things go so i personally find that um you need to study that a little bit harder when you've got a distance so i if this was airfix for example they'd be doing um Step one, attach that to that. Step two, attach that to that. Step three, attach that to that. What they've done here is they've done several steps together and you've got to work out your best build process, which probably means a, quite a fair amount of dry fitting of parts beforehand. However, we start step one with the assembly of the wheels um, and that appears to be three part tires, which means we will have a nice molding of the tires and two parts for the, the spoked wheels. Then we've got the sidecar being built up um, and it's telling you what to paint it there. So it's it's giving you uh, paint out paint colours um, afterwards. And I think is that right? No, element after it's a little confusing, I'm just not used to the, the, this style of instructions. Right, so that's your assembly of the sidecar, that's the sidecar completed. Then we move to step three, we're adding the um, mud guards and the wheels and the spare wheel and the seat. They all look fairly simplistic here um, and it may be that you just don't see the detail in the, the drawing in the instructions, or at least that is my hope. So uh, we then move on to the assembly of the engine um, and it says, so this is the double carburetor version um, by the looks of it and then in step five it says only for one carburetor and annex by Vermark version. So if you're going to do the civilian one you probably want to do this engine uh, and then you could do this version in the civilian um, engine or or the uh, military I think that's right um, and then the same with step six you're only adding those uh, for the two carburetor version so it, it's a little bit out of sequence so you do need to look ahead at these instructions uh, and work out what's going on uh, fuel tank is made up of three parts filler cap, uh, a bottom body and a top body. Again, that'll be done so that they can get the shape right in the uh, manufacturing process. Then we've got assembly of the uh, rider's seat there. And then in step nine, we've got building up of the uh, mud guards. Then we've got more spaghetti arrows which is bringing together the uh, main frame around the engine and the rear wheel. So uh, sort of the typical assembly of a, of a motorbike at this scale. Um, then you've got the sort of the luggage rack going on, um, the springs for underneath the seat. Um, we've got some tread plates. Then we're building up the uh, front wheel assembly um, and steering column uh, we've got interestingly the lights two parts the main headlights two parts um, and then we've got the exhaust um, exhausts going on and the saddlebags 
Finally, we're then attaching the front wheel and the, the handlebar assembly, um, and then attaching the motorbike to the sidecar. So I guess at this stage you could um, leave the sidecar off and just have the motorbike should you wish to. And then it shows you two completed pictures which are actually quite hard to see because of the, the sort of the grey that they've used. Um, one carburetor version, two carburetor version and you can see there's some subtle differences there. Um, so yeah, when you finish building the model you can play spot the difference, which is cool. Um, and then you've got colour and decal placements. So we have um, 1937 civilian version, version um, one carburetor, um, civilian two carburetor, Nuremberg 38 version, um, both essentially black. Um, and then we have uh, Poland September 39, and France May 1940 and we've got a nice little uh, first aid type version there so there we go that is the instructions let's have a look at some plastic okay we have three plastic sprue let's have a look at the smallest one first so this is um, sprue C and it has the two mud guards on they're quite thick the plastic in them is quite thick if you look there, at the underside, that's quite thick. Um, whether that's supposed to be like that, I would, I don't know. I would doubt it. There's, there's obviously a fold there. I have to see what it looks like come off. But otherwise, you've got some very small parts here. But they're very crisp. There's no flash. Plastic's quite, quite hard. It's a good solid plastic, it's not soft at all. So that is sprue C. Going backwards on this one, so this is sprue B. So this has, um, well the main two parts here are the um, sidecar and they have a sort of matte texture to them. Um, Again, the plastic feels quite thick, but um, if you look at that side wall there, that looks quite heavy. You might want to do something to thin it out. But on the inside, we've got some wood slats, which is nice. So when you look into there, you'll be able to see that. Um, there is no sink that I can see. Um, no issues with seams or anything like that. The the gate stages on the sprue is very short so you can see here you've got the sprue gate and then the stage is the gap between the part and the and the gate here which is this bit um, and there's almost no stage which means it, it will be more difficult to get in with your um, cutters if you've got the this type which has a a thick angle on it you'll find it a bit more difficult to get in and and get good purchase so um, more an observation than a criticism um, but it is better if we have a bigger stage it's quite a bit of flash on the sprue but I am not seeing any on the part particularly um, Actually, the, the spokes on, on the wheels are relatively fine, so they don't look too bad. They don't look out of scale, uh, I think is what I'm trying to say. And the handlebars and the brakes are very finely detailed. We'll show you that in a sec. And then we've got the frame there, which has got um, the appropriate detail on for the bracket, the welded on bracket. Um, not a lot of texture on the seat um, and then we've got the fuel tank there the exhaust again very very fine will have to be removed from the sprue very carefully those
You can see the detail on there. And then finally we have sprue A. So here we have the seat and, and the comment when I looked at it in the instructions was there's not much in the way of detail on there and unfortunately the plastic part is the same so there's no there's no creases, there's no sag where someone's been sat in it. Um, so yeah, it's a bit featureless and it it doesn't quite look right. You'd expect a little bit of material pull at the corners or something. Um, I do like the tyres. It means we can work out tread patterns very nicely. Um, they seem to have little location holes in. Um, although I can't see any... Oh yeah, there's very, very tiny location looks. So they are located, there's quite a heavy, um, it's either a heavy seam or a bit of flash on some of them. Then we've got the um, saddlebags there. Um, again, they're a little bit featureless. They've got the straps, they've got the lock, which is just a sort of a, a rectangle. Um, but there's no sort of curled corners or or creases or anything like that so they're a bit whether they were like that maybe they're hard cases but I think they're probably soft skin cases um, and these would be the backs and we've got the mud guard there which is for the sidecar I think which again is very very thick part very thick wall on that um, probably look all right under paint given that You'll be looking side on or down at it. Um, we've got the headlight there. We've got um, the some of the engine parts um, there. We've got the frame that goes underneath the side car. There's some very small, nicely moulded, delicately moulded stuff, and then there's some stuff you think, well. Oh, Perhaps could have done with a little bit more um, just to give it some definition. And the, the, the cooling elements on, on the um, um, casings here are really nicely done. Um, yeah. You see what I mean about the seat? It's just sort of a block. And finally, the decals. And I have to say, the ve the decals are very, very nicely done. It says uh, printed by TechMod, but they are very, very thin, um, and I can hardly see the carrier film. Um, so they should be okay if if they're not so thin that they become opaque. But we've got. We've got the various different number plates, civilian and military. We've got that little um, red cross symbol that we saw uh, and some divisional symbols. Um, and then we've got um, the little dial there, which is the speedo. Um, and we've got some uh, the BMW um, badges. Um, and then here you can't quite see them, um, but we've got some little white decals, which... I've only got my reading glasses on, but they look like the tyre pressures which go on the, the, the mud guards, which probably only go on the military version, I'd, I'd imagine. There you go. So there you have it, the IBG models, um, BMW R12. Um, a bit of a mixed bag, this one, I think. Um, highlights are definitely the subject matter um, and the fact that you've got that with a, a sidecar and that they've given you um, two different um, engine variants and given you options for military and civilian. So I think that's a big tick in the box there. Um, the low light is probably that it lacks a little bit of detail in places, um, lacks a little bit of uh, um, moulding um, finesse in places. Um, some of the plastic looks a bit heavy. Things like uh, the seat look a little bit simplified and the saddlebags a little bit simplified. You know, we've not got the padlock on. Um, we've not got the, you know, we, we, 
I'm not expecting to see stitching, but we would have had some form of seam or something like that. So, so they're a little bit simplified. Having said that, there's other areas of the model where clearly um, it, it looks really, really nicely done. Like the brake handles, for example, were very finely moulded. So, uh, like I say, a little bit of a, a, of a mixed bag. Um, I would say uh, when it's built up, depending on how good the fit is, when it's built up, we've probably got a, a 7.5 out of 10 kit here. Um, it's But for anyone wanting to do a, um, a diorama, wanting a military medical uh, motorbike, it's brilliant. Or if you want to do, a, as I'm going to be doing, a civilian um, street, um, it's perfect. So the subject matter is great. And I have no doubt that once you've cleaned it up and put it all together under a bit of paint, it'll look lovely. Um, and for those that wish to, there's there's some um, opportunity there for a bit of scratch building of, of brake lines and, and the like. Okay, there you have it. Thanks for looking in, everyone. Um, and take care, and I hope we will see you soon.